Many people, when listening, are simply waiting for the other person to keep quiet long enough for them to be able to put in their piece. And so when they're listening, they're actually processing and thinking about what they're going to say. And that distinction was brought alive for me a number of years ago in working with um, a prestigious international strategic consultancy um, and, and, a, and a fairly senior in the, um, person in that business. And they have become concerned about, in this case, a particular individual in the, in, in the, in the team who was clearly intelligent, but wasn't thriving at all in, a, in an environment where you can thrive. And what happened during the course of my conversation with the individual's boss was a growing realization that he was having some impact. And the more he thought about it, the more he realized that every part of his being was keyed up to providing with people, providing people with answers. And that it was that very fact that was getting in the way of, at least in part, of the, some of the people he was managing. So that when they came to see him, they were simply waiting to be told what to do or to be frightened with a pearl of his wisdom. So he made a commitment, and it was in making that commitment that he realized this distinction. So he, he promised that the next meeting with this person, that rather than giving them the solution and speaking at them, that he was actually going to simply listen. And it was in that moment when he said, actually, people in this business don't listen, they reload. And kind of left then with a good intention to go and speak with his people differently. The, the lesson that came out of it for him was the degree to which people, first of all, had built such an expectation around him and that he would provide the answers, or at least speak even if he didn't have the answers, that they simply had stopped thinking in his presence. So he was more than surprised, was indeed shocked, when he overcame that barrier and expectation in his people and that they started speaking when he was present. And what he released in his immediate team was, was everything from creativity to more engagement to, to more enjoyment in the workplace. So for a senior person in an organization to become aware and then to act on the impact of their listening is a significant key to releasing performance, productivity, problem-solving capacity, engagement in work. And there are two aspects to it that are clearly interrelated. The first is that you, you will probably bump up against people's expectations that you are going to talk at them. So what that means is that when, when you first ask a question or leave a pause, that they are maybe in the, initially unwilling to fill that, will be unwilling to fill that pause. So the job is to hang out long enough and to keep quiet until the vacuum is so intense that they start speaking. But that, uh, changing those expectations will take time and you need to be aware of that. And the second is the act of listening itself. And one of the disciplines is actually very, very simple, which is that if you can play back to that person not necessarily in their own words, but the key elements of the content. Something different happens. They relax because they know they've been listened to. And that gives them the space to actually start thinking and saying what else they need to say. And actually, it's really tuned you in. Um, because in order to make an accurate summary, you will have had to have been listening.